Using pretty fonts in React Native is quite easy, but it can be a bit challenging for beginners. And the only reason why it is challenging is because you need to use custom font files because of the differences that exist between iOS and Android. So in this tutorial, we will simplify it to give you an easy way to use custom font files that work across both of these platforms. So let's go. Now, if you are like me, you are probably wondering why you need to use custom font files within React Native. And the answer is that while there are a number of fonts that are built into iOS from Apple, when we look at Android, the options are limited to normal, serif and monospace. So in short, you're going to need your own custom font file if you want to have pretty fonts across both of these platforms. And you can find font files from a lot of places on the internet. A very popular option where you can find free fonts is Google Fonts. For example, here we can select Fuzzy Bubbles and then choose to download the entire font family. Once this file is downloaded, we can extract the zip file and choose the font family that we want to use within our app. Now, once you have a font file, there's only one more thing that you need to be careful of, and that is the font file name needs to match the font family full name. And the reason for that is that Android will use the font file name and iOS will use the family full name. So let's just make them both consistent so we don't have to do any platform specific code. To get the font family full name, install the font using the Mac's built-in font book. And once it is installed, click on the information section for this particular font. And here you can see that the full name for this particular font is Fuzzy Bubbles Regular with spaces in between. Let's copy that and make the file name to be exactly the same. Now that you know how to set up your font files, the next step is to add them to your React Native project. It is conventional to put these font files into the assets slash fonts folder. So we will create this folder within our assets folder and then we will drag and drop that font file that we just created. The next step is to tell React Native CLI to include all of the assets from the assets slash fonts folder into the iOS and Android app bundles. We can do that quite easily from the react-native.config.js file. You might already have this file, but I don't have that right now. So I will create that file within this project. And then within this file, I will export the configuration for React Native. And within the configuration, we need to include assets to be everything that exists within the assets slash fonts folder. Now React Native CLI will automatically pick this up if you already didn't have React Native CLI set up. But because we do have it set up, we have to run one additional command, which is npx react native asset. And this will actually link the fonts folder to be included in both the iOS as well as the Android projects. So at this point, we've downloaded and renamed our font files, added them to our React Native project, and the final step is to just start using them. As an example, we can jump into our main application file, create some styles for text, and these would be the normal typography styles that we've seen before. The only difference now is that we have the ability to provide a font family pointing to the font file name for Android, which of course matches the font full name for iOS. And we can assign this style to any text component within our app. For example, let's create two simple text components containing the text custom and font. And you can see that the custom font indeed shows up on iOS as well as Android without us having to do any custom platform specific logic. As always, thank you for joining me. Smash that like and share this around to encourage more quality developer content. And I will see you in the next one.